Hello, sorry for that little pause there. I have my camera precariously balanced on top of a lush pot of foot lotion. So let's keep our fingers crossed that we don't have a little camera accident. Okay, so I made mention, I think on Twitter and on Facebook and in answered some comments on the last couple of videos. People have been commenting that my skin is looking a lot better on camera. Um, not to say that it, that you guys thought it looked horrible before, but you do see a noticeable difference, and I'm glad that you're seeing a noticeable difference because um, I recently went to a dermatologist and I wanted to talk about my experience and just how things are going. This isn't really going to be a review because I haven't been using the products long enough to give you um, a full yes or no, but my kind of initial impressions will follow. So basically what prompted the visit to the dermatologist was my skin started breaking out. Well, what I thought were breakouts. Uh, I noticed it happening in August. I think I talked about it, that I thought it was my Chanel bronzer, the Soleil Tan de Soleil or whatever, the cream bronzer that I had gotten um, as a gift from a subscriber. I was breaking out exactly in the patches, almost like along my contour lines. For the most part, it was confined to this area. And so I thought it was Chanel, stopped using it, it was very sad. I didn't get rid of it, but I stopped using it. Thought that would work, it didn't clear up. Continued to get what I thought were breakouts. Um, put different acne treat, used different soaps, different acne treatments. My skin is naturally very dry and flaky and the acne treatments just made it worse to the point where I broke out in hives and I was itchy. So I finally said, all right, this is ridiculous. I spend so much money on beauty products and hair products and all this stuff. Why am I not treating my skin better? I need to go see a doctor. So I found a dermatologist near my house that actually my friend Katie uses. And um, she was very, it was very informative. Basically she told me that, because I couldn't understand, let me back up. I couldn't understand why none of the acne treatments that had worked for me in the past were, why, why weren't they working? And she said, well, because you don't have acne. <laughs> I, my whole life, always thought that rosacea was the red flushed cheeks that um, middle-aged women get. Well, apparently, I am in the middle part of my age um, because she <laughs> said that I have rosacea. Uh, red flushed cheeks can be one of the uh, symptoms of rosacea, but another symptom that is clearly not as well known, but I didn't know about it, and I I'd like to think I'm fairly educated about various things, is these, for lack of a better word, pustules, cyst-like, acne-like uh, bumps under the skin that look and feel like acne but are in fact not. That's why they don't respond to acne treatment, because they're not acne. So <clears throat> uh, she prescribed a whole bunch of stuff. I have um, a daily low dose combination antibiotic anti-inflammatory that I take every day. It is um, called Oratia, I wanna say. I should have gotten that, but um, I forgot to get the bottle. So I believe it's called Oratia, and I will write that down in the description box for you. And then I use a topical uh, prescription strength uh, ointment called Metro Gel. And uh, it's metronidazole gel, 1%. It's, uh, it's for topical use only. And you apply a thin film to the entire affected area after washing once daily as directed by the physician. And it contains 10 milligrams of this metronidazole. It's an active ingredient, but I don't know what it does. Sorry. Okay, so this is prescription strength, and I just put that on the areas where I've been having the breakouts. So, um or whatever you want to call them, the flare-ups. I We haven't quite figured out what triggered the rosacea. Some people, it's stress. Some people, it's spicy food. Some people, it's it's a variety of triggers. I don't know what it is, but I have noticed that since I started this whole skincare treatment thing, I have had no new flare-ups, not one, nothing. So, okay. Then, in addition to the prescription things, I also went whole hog and bought pretty much everything that they sell for your face. Uh, my husband said, you know, just go for it. Just do what you need to do. So with his blessing, I spent a small fortune. No, um, 
Yes, this stuff was expensive. It is expensive. I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna say, but it's expensive. Some of it isn't. Um, I am not sure what I will repurchase and what I will try to replace with something else. For right now, I will use up every drop of everything that I bought, and then kind of see. I have some gut feelings. I'll just go through my routine of what I do every morning and every night and kind of give you my comments as I go along. So every morning, except for Mondays and Thursdays, I wash my face with it. Oh, I'm sorry. The skincare line is Vivite. And I'll put, you know, I'm going to put this on below. So just sit back, relax, and let the information just wash over you. So the first thing I get, and Vivite is made by the make by Allergan or Allergan, Allergan. They also make Juvederm and Botox, just a side note. We will address that topic in a minute. So I got the whole Vivite skincare line. So every day, except every morning and every night, except Mondays and Thursdays, I wash my face. Well, let me back up. Now I'll just, I wash my face with the Replenish Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Looks like this, comes in a little pump. One pump is all I use morning and night. It's non-glycolic, super hydrating cleanser for all skin types. I got the hydrating one because I have very dry skin. There are some other ones you can get that aren't hydrating if you have oily skin. Um, it's unscented, soap-free. It says it gently yet effectively removes daily residue, makeup, and oil, leaving the skin exceptionally soft and clean. Ideal when extra gentleness and skin hydration is desired. It contains an anti-irritant complex, complex, which calms and soothes vulnerable skin like people with rosacea. And it's ideal for pre and post procedural use or with retinoid based products. And uh, use morning and night, apply one or two pumps. I just use one, that's plenty for me. Uh, to wet hands, and, and or you could do it on a washcloth, lather, massage, rinse, blood dry. Okay, I really do like this. Um, I will say that in the evenings, I do remove my makeup with Neutrogena Makeup Wipe first, then I use this. I've used it just with my hands, I've used it on my little buff puff thingy. Uh, exfoliating pad and um, I like it it cost now I got mine in a kit but individually if you bought this at my doctor's office this would cost you $25 okay sounds like a lot of money six months supply that's not so horrible okay then I in the morning I follow up with this cream then I follow up morning routine now. The morning routine's a little crazy. It all goes quickly. It takes me way longer to explain it. The next step is the Vivite Daily Antioxidant, what does it say? Facial Serum. This little puppy is muy expensive. It is glycolic acid, 15% glycolic acid. And uh, I apply one pump in the morning only. And uh, this little baby costs hundred and nine dollars yeah if you bought it individually I did get the whole pack so everything I bought added up to 400 bucks plus the office visit that included the office visit so I think I got a deal but um, this is supposed to last me six months and it better so one pump once a day 15% glycolic acid and yes it tingles then I follow up with um, the Vivite Vibrance Therapy. This says it's a restorative, anti restorative antioxidants brighten and even out skin tone while reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles for more vibrant, healthy looking skin. This is to get rid of the dark spots. Like I have a little bit of, oh, what is that stuff called? Hyperpigmentation around here and a couple spots here. And it's supposed to fade the acne scarring. This stuff is also ridiculously expensive, $98. Um, I have noticed a significant difference in my acne scarring, not so much with the dark spots. Now, to be fair, I did say a minimum of eight weeks of use, so I have noticed an immediate change in, in just a few days with my scarring, not so much with the age spots but it hasn't been eight weeks, so I'll, I'll be fair. Um, you use the tiniest amount, like a pea size amount, and I do this um, morning and night. And then, uh, then I do an eye cream, which I'd never used before, 
And um, initially I did use the Vivite eye cream and it burned and it really hurt and I and that's not fun. I mean, I, I understand that some part of the beauty process can be less comfortable than others. Waxing comes to mind, any kind of hair removal, but stuff on your eyes should not hurt. So I the their eye cream was $69, which is about on par with a drugstore, not drugstore, about on par with a um, department store, so that's not horrible. But I traded it in, which was kind of cool that they let me do that, and I got the Obagi one. It's called Elastoderm Eye Treatment. This might last me the rest of my natural life. I mean, I've had this four days. It looks exactly the same. I, I literally use like that for one eye. I mean, it, I want to put it back in there. Okay. Um, this little sucker though was a hundred bucks. Oh, I did get the credit, so I only paid 30, but still, I mean, I paid a hundred dollars for this. Yes, I know. I can hear you all going, what are you doing? I don't know. Um, I've only used this a few days. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't, whatever. Okay. It doesn't burn my eyes. That's good. There is some slight tingling that I've noticed has lessened over the last couple of days. And then you're like, is there anything else? Yes, there is. Um, I got this one for free though, because the nice thing is there's a rewards program for buying all this crap and it adds up to free coupons. So like I got a free coupon, like you wouldn't believe. And then I got the Vivite Defining Lip Plumper and it's really not for plumping your lips. It's this thing and you crank, whoops, you crank it, might as well use it now. And you actually use it like above your lip for those lines you get above your lip to help with feathering. I'm just gonna pat that in there because I don't wanna waste it. And uh, I don't know, this luckily was free. I will not be buying it again with my own money. I can tell you that right now. So, no. Okay, Mondays and Thursdays, I wash with the Exfoliating Facial Cleanser by Vivite. It just has this like really fine little grit uh, texture to it. And the reason why there's so much missing from the top is because I left it in the shower and my husband thought it was a new body wash. <laughs> um, and that cost $40. It's crazy. I know. I just, okay. I'm having a hard time. I'm, you know, I'm normally a drugstore person, so I'm having a hard time getting my head around all this. In the evening, oh, and then before I do my makeup, I use a sunscreen. When you're using glycolic acids and all this stuff, you, you should use a sunscreen anyway, but especially when you're using this kind of stuff. So um, she gave me some samples. I love this stuff. This, I think, is worth every penny. There's two different versions. She gave me uh, the one I bought. It's L to MD Skincare UV Daily SPF 40. It's, a moist, it's not a moisturizer, but it's a moisturizing sunscreen and it has UVA and UVB protection, it's SPF 40, and what's cool is it's not just a chemical sunscreen, meaning that there's stuff in there that blocks the sun rays through the chemical, but it's a physical sunscreen. It has zinc oxide in it, and they've micronized it so that when you put it on, it doesn't go on white, it absorbs into the skin. Now, as far as questions about flashback go, I'm not followed by paparazzi wherever I go. I'm not in pictures unless it's a special event, and so, I'm in the sun every day. I'm not at a special event every day, so it doesn't even enter my thought process to not put this on my um, me. Um, so I put this on every morning, right before I put on my makeup, and my makeup goes on really smoothly over it, and and I love it. It's a sheer, lightweight, moisturizing sunscreen, specifically formulated. Oh, it has an acid in it with hyaluronic acid to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's ideal for daily use and can be used post microdermabrasion, after IPL treatments, after chemical or glycolic peels, and post laser treatment. Okay, so I love this stuff. They also have a tinted version, which I have to say, I loved the sample, and I might have to go back and get that. I mean, it had a coverage almost like a foundation. It was great, and it's a sunscreen. And then I just take my leftover liquid, ultra sheer liquid, and um, I put that on my hands. And I don't think I told you how much the sunscreen costs. The sunscreen was 22 bucks. It's not bad, because this was almost 20, so. There you go. Okay, Whew, I'm exhausted. You guys still here? At night, routine goes much faster. I wash my face with either the hydrating cleanser or the exfoliating cleanser. I do the 
What do I do? What's my order? Hang on. Oh yeah. I do this. I had to write it down. There's a lot of crap. Um, I do the Vivite Vibrance thing and then I alternate one of two things. I either do their Night Renewal Facial Cream, which is 20% uh, glycolic acid. That's a nice tingly feeling on your face. Or I use, now I cannot speak French as many of you are aware, I use Eau Thermal that. How do you say that? Avene? I don't know. And it's not retinol, it's retronol plus 0.1 retinaldehyde. I don't know. Visibly reduces wrinkles and brightens skin. And I use the teeniest amount. And this little sucker, I don't think it's on the list. It was ridiculously expensive as well. Oh, $64. 64. And the hydrating cream, no. The uh, facial cream is the night facial cream, renewal cream. Oh, wow, 79 to repurchase. Okay, so clearly I got some crazy deal buying all this stuff. That was all through my doctor's office. I will say I went online and Googled this. It's sold at drugstore.com. It's sold a variety of places. Some of the prices on this stuff is significantly less than what I paid at the doctor's office. Some of it is a little higher on drugstore.com. So, um... As far as repurchasing goes, we'll see. I do like that I have a reward program through the doctor's office, so um, I can. It's like getting points at Ulta, Sephora, and then I can use it as a coupon instead of for free products. They literally give you like a thirty dollar coupon towards the buying more products. So that's kind of. I don't know if you can use it when uh, you buy it through other retailers. Something to look into. And then the last thing that I did was I had. I, I'm a sucker. I fell for everything. Okay. I walked in there like, I'll buy anything you sell me. Just fix my skin. So, um, uh, she said that a good way to get everything kind of jump started would to be do a light chemical peel. And so I said, okay, sure. So I went about three weeks ago and, uh, had a peel and I guess it was an Obagi peel. I didn't even know what it was. I just said, okay, fine. It was a hundred dollars and you go in you wash your face this is not a spa like experience you sit in a chair very similar to a dentist chair you lay back and they put your hair back and they paint this stuff on your face and you feel like someone's burning you alive it's, it's just <laughs> I was like, this is not like getting a facial is it there's no massage this is not fun um it hurt it hurt i mean it wasn't like crying my eyes were watering I think just because it was around, you know, uh, it wasn't on my eyes, but my eyes were watering. It was not comfortable. They did give me a handheld fan and the blowing action made the burning kind of tolerable. And it was on my face for six minutes. I mean, I wasn't screaming like, get it off, get it off. But I was very much looking forward to them getting it off. Then they, um, I don't even know if they wipe it off. I can't remember if they wiped it off or not. They put a neutralizing thing, cream on top. And then they lathered me up with uh, this Replenish Hydrating Cream, which of course I bought because I just was like a sucker written across my face. So this one is um, 50 bucks. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lecture you guys on fiscal responsibility for like a while now. I just blew, blew that. It's just a white goo and it's very hydrating and they recommend it for post-surgical procedures and non-glycolic super hydrator and it has an anti-irritant complex. Okay, the nice thing about the skin peel, at first I was like, oh, I don't know if it's worth it. Because it's a light peel, I can't even imagine what a normal peel feels like. But because it was a light peel, I could immediately go home and put on makeup if I wanted to. Like, I did not have sheets of dead skin falling off. I did not look like The Walking Dead or some kind of scary zombie. Um, it was done on a Friday and I went to my local high school football game. I had all my makeup on. It was all good. What I did notice over the next four to five days was that as the day wore on, my skin got flaky. And when I would wash my face, like that's when I would see the flakes come off at night. So as peels go, that wasn't so bad. And obviously I have noticed a difference in my skin. Um, they say, of course, that it works best in a series of four, of course. And, um, yeah, 
I'm going back for another one. So after two, if I don't see like a significant difference, I, I don't know if I'll go for three and four, but I'm just going in whole hog, right? In for penny, in for pound. Um, I don't even know what that means. I don't know why I said that. Okay, last thing. This is getting to be like a 40 minute video. So if you're still with me, thanks for sticking by. Let's talk Botox, shall we? It was, it's been brought up a few times on Facebook, blog TV, so forth and so on. And yes, I did ask about it because I was there and I have to say that everybody in her office has had every treatment known to mankind and they're all at least 10 to 15 years older than me and they all look like my age. So I was like, all right, what do you guys do? Because that is cool. Here's what I'm finding out about Botox. I have not ruled it out, but it is not in the picture anytime soon. I'm not gonna say never. I'm just gonna say not now uh, for a variety of reasons. One, just because I've already spent a small fortune on skincare, I'd like to give this stuff a shot. Um, the wrinkles that I am particularly interested Can you please stop doing that, baby? Thank you. I have an audience over there. Okay, um, I don't care if I have crow's feet when I smile, because everybody does. I don't care if I have the mommy line, because how are my kids gonna know I'm mad at them if I don't do that? What I would love to see go away are these lines not so much what i'm doing this but look they're still there and when i talked to the dermatologist about them i asked her about these lines and she said relax your face and i said they are it is and she goes no seriously just blank face let's see what it looks like when you're not you know raising your eyebrows or i said no no this is my face at rest so she did say that to do those would be every four months about 20 units that's not 20 shots i don't know how many units are in a shot maybe four i don't know and uh and it would take about a year and then they would go away i don't know that sounds like a lot of work so if if i decide to do botox it would be for these lines and if i decide to do that i will tell you guys beforehand because I believe in complete transparency and I will, I have nothing to hide. So if I do that, you guys will know before I go. But for now, I'm going to let all this stuff I bought have a shot and, uh, and uh, just no, no Botox for me right now. So that, and, oh, and I decided to keep the little wrinkle that I have here too for now. It's this little one. Anyway, it's like I said, like, if you sit and examine your face in a mirror for a while in front of a dermatologist, you will find things. It's just a matter of how much does it bother you. Nothing bothers me that much. So, except for that, but whatever. Okay, so that was my experience with the dermatologist. It is an ongoing process. I've definitely seen some improvement. I still have a couple of spots. That is not because of anything new. It's because I can't keep my fingers to myself and I still feel the need to pick and poke and prod. Don't do that. So any questions about any of the stuff I just talked about, please let me know. Um, please, you don't need to comment that I don't need this or that. I appreciate it, um, but I've already bought all the products and I will continue to use them. So that's that. And um, I hope this was at least educational. I feel like I brought you all along with me to the dermatologist's office and maybe I will the next time I go so you guys can see what it's like. So if I can get somebody to film it. Uh, maybe that'll be next in line. Anyway, have a great week. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, ask them and I will answer them. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.